so I'm going to try and teach a painting tutorial because I thought, well, I know how to paint and I'm pretty sure I know how to teach, kind of. So I thought, why not teach painting? So today we're going to do this painting that I've done before. It's an original. It's a bottle on the beach. So, and I tried to record a video. My camera shut off on me. I was almost done, as you can see. So we're gonna try again. Cause we don't give up. <laughs> but, all right, to start, I have drawn a sketch of where I want my bottle. It's in the middle of the page, as you can see. I have my water line, my skyline, where the water and the sky meet. If you do need help drawing, I can make a tutorial on how to draw it. If I decide to post this and everyone actually sees it, just let me know and I can show you. All right, to start, I am going to grab my brush. Any size brush is fine, whatever you have. Uh, mine looks like this, kind of has an angle. Yours doesn't need one. If it's completely flat, that's perfect too. Um, so I'm going to use a couple different colors for my sky. So I'm going to start with a light blue. And if you want to know the specifics of it, like specific color, if you like the color, it's called pool, pool blue. Pool blue. I'm going to start with my blue. And I'm using paper because my one canvas I used in my other video that didn't work. So we have to use paper right now, and that's fine too. Because my original one was on paper, and it still looks great. So paper's fine. Alright, so I'm going to start with my blue. I have to use a little bit of white to help kind of blend it in. Not clear my brush. So, paper doesn't it doesn't um, blend as well as canvas. So you're just gonna hang with me. So I'm gonna start with my blue, and then I'm gonna transition into a darker blue. And the problem with paper, too, is sometimes when it gets wet, it starts crinkling up like that. Usually I have tape, but I can't find my tape. So, I'm just going to work with what we got. So, I'm going to use some white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my blue, my pool blue, and I'm going to start fading into a darker blue. So, I'm going to get my pool blue on part of my brush, but I'm also going to get some of my darker blue on the other part. And we're just going to start painting. Because that helps blend the two colors together. And just do your best. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. Because everyone's, that's the best thing about it, is everyone's going to look different, but they're all going to look great. Even if you want your sky to be brown or all orange or literally whatever you want it to be. You get to choose. So I'm just choosing blue right now, dark blue and light blue. And then I'm going to fade into some purple. In a second here. I'm going to get my blues blended first and then I'll start fading into purple. Okay. That's just about good. A little bit more dark blue over here. All right, so now I'm going to do the same thing with my purple, my dark blue. I'm going to take dark blue on part of my brush and then purple on the other part and then blend those two. Same brush. I haven't washed it yet. Just blending my colors right now, blending my sky together. And it's okay if we carry some of that light blue into it too. It makes it better. It's all one sky. So next I'm going to take my purple and fade it into my orange. So I'm going to do the same thing. Take some of my purple on my brush and take orange on my other part of my brush. And ooh, got so much, too much orange on that one. So you're going to always start where you left off. So you're going to make sure the purple is touching the purple where you left off and the orange will be on the bottom part. It's okay to bring it up a little bit into the blue. It's all the same sky. Because I lost my purple a little bit. 
And if you want it lighter, go ahead and add some white, make it lighter. If you want it darker, add some gray, dark gray, you know, black, blue even, if you don't want it that dark. Um, I'm losing my colors. Too much, too much. All right, back to my orange. And it's okay to paint over the bottle too because you can still see it. All right, I got my orange. I feel like I lost my purple though. But you know what? This works too. It still looks good. They say the more paint you get on you, the better the artist you are. So if you get paint on you, that just means you're really good. So now I'm going to take my orange and I'm going to fade in some pink. I got pink and orange. I'm going to start where I left off with my orange and then add my pink in. And blend them together. And don't worry if you absolutely hate your sky. We're going to add clouds, so it'll be okay. And again, it's not going to look like mine. We're all going to look a little different. That's fine. It's all, we're going to get to the same results eventually. So, and like I said, if you want a lighter pink, feel free to add white. Okay, there you go. That's my sky for now. I'm going to wipe my brush off, and I'm going to work on my water. The color I'm going to use for my water is called Caribbean, or as I like to call it, teal. It's just teal. To me, it's teal. They have all these fancy colors, like... Robin's egg blue or cadmium yellow, and to me it's just yellow or teal or light blue. So, to make it simple, I'm using teal. So, go ahead and make sure try not to paint into your sky. If you do, it's okay. That's the great thing about paint, we can just paint over it. So, yep, and I'm gonna stop. Where did I stop? I'm gonna. Probably in like the just under or just over half of my bottle. I'm gonna have some sand, so it looks like the bottle's in the foreground. So you know, paint don't paint all the way down. Leave some room. And if you want to see like, oh, is my bottle look proportional? My trick is to hold it up into the mirror, and I'll show you like, oh, this side's a little bit bigger than the other side, which is nice. It's a little artist trick. Okay. I got my water. And what I'm going to do, you don't have to, but I'm going to add some waves. And if you have a fancy brush called a fan brush at home, it's going to help. It looks like this. And you just dip it in your white, and you just kind of go whoop, like an up and down swoop. Because you know, water is never usually still, so there's always some kind of movement. So it just kind of gives you a little bit of a, you know, a movie movement feeling. And if you don't have that brush, it's fine. You can use the brush you were just using too, and I'll show you in a second how to do that. I'll clean it first. Got my white. I'm just go kind of like the same thing. Just a little check. See, they almost look the exact same, so it doesn't even matter if you have a fan brush. And you can make as many waves as possible as you want, as dark as you want, as light as you want. It's up to you. Okay. So next, we're gonna do our sand. And for our sand, I'm using my same brush. I'm gonna use Sun Kissed Peach or Sand color and also brown. Just brown, just brown. And right now I'm just going to use my sand color and I'm going to add brown later for some detail because detail makes it look so much better, so much nicer. But again, you don't need detail. You want to just keep it simple. It still doesn't look good. Once I got some water over here. Okay. Yeah. 
we're just gonna go ahead and paint the rest of our canvas and sand. Oh yeah, and the paint I'm using is the 50 cent stuff you get at Walmart, which is really nice. Um, I don't go expensive on the paint because this does, it does the work, so why not save some money? And yeah, my brushes, uh, I have some that I got from Target, some I found around the house, some from Walmart. So, yeah, whatever brush you have will probably work. You don't need a fancy brush. If you watch other tutorials, they're like, use a one and a half inch brush. And I'm like, I'm going to use this one and hopefully that'll work. And it usually does. So size doesn't necessarily always matter in brush when it comes to brushes. As long as it can paint on the canvas, it'll probably work. I mean, you can paint with Q-tips, you can paint with sponges. So So now we got our sand painted, and I'm gonna add a little bit of brown, a little bit of brown on my brush, and then get more sand color. And I'm just gonna do like, you know, because there's wet sand and it's dark. So we're just gonna add some wet sand wherever we feel like adding it. Wherever you feel like your wet sand should be. It just gives more detail. It's like writing a paper. The more detail, the better. You'll probably get a better grade too. So, detail. All right. You kind of make it look like a little sand hill. That works too. Do you see? You can't see. I'm sorry, my lighting's bad. This is the best room in the house to do this but it also doesn't have the best lighting. So I'll work on that if I do another video. So um, I think I'm happy with my sand. I can kind of show you. Pretty simple right now. We will get, we'll get more detail, don't worry. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of white to my sand, make it lighter like up here by the bottle. Just, you know, variety. It doesn't hurt. Okay. There we go. What I want to do now is I'm going to add, we're going to work on our skyline here. So I'm going to get a thin brush. If you have a tiny brush, that works. Um, or just something skinny. Even a pencil, if you want to dip it in paint and draw with it, that works too. And I'm just gonna highlight, just draw a little. I just use a darker blue, and I'm just gonna trace my line, like where my sky and my water meet. And if you want to make it small and just kind of um, outline it, that works. But you could also do it where you can make a little landform. You go like up like that. It's a little landform in the distance. It makes it kind of cute. cute. All right. That's one side. And I think I'll add a little piece of land over here too. Make it a little taller. A big rock. And come down into if you know alright and feel free you don't have to do this you can make a straight line you don't have to put any line at all you can make it black you can make it purple you can make it red whatever you want I'm doing blue alright alright so do that I'm going to do a little bit into my bottle, but not a whole lot, because I do, we will have a scroll in the sun reflecting in the bottle. So 
so we don't need to do a whole lot with that in the bottle. Okay, now we're going to outline our bottle. What I'm going to use, I'm going to use some gray, just regular gray, or country gray, and a little bit of white, just white. Now I'm going to trace it, because bottles are transparent, but we don't have transparent paint, so we're going to use gray and white. If we do white, it gets just white. It just gets a little hard to see on the sand, so I do a little bit of gray and white. So it shows up a little bit more. Okay. And we're going to do some white highlights. So just hang in there. Sorry, I'm going to move it down so I make sure my lines are still straight. I'll show you in a second. Uh, as you can kind of see it, I'm going to do white around the rim. I'm going to have to do a little bit more gray to make it a little bit darker. There we go. A little bit darker. Okay. Next, we're going to do our cork. And I'm going to use brown and my sand color again because those together are cork colors so and you get to enjoy my dad mowing the lawn if you can hear that so I'm still using my tiny brush and I am going to paint my cork right now I'm just coloring it filling it in with that color and I'll add some shading later so it in. Nothing crazy right now. Okay, so here we go. I've gotten this far. I'm going to take some brown, just brown right now. We're going to do a little bit, add a little bit of color. I'm just going to go to the left side of it. And just kind of pull it into the middle. Just pull it in. Our paint is still wet, so it's just gonna blend with it. And just pulling it to the middle. Just give it some color. And some more detail. Let's see how detail is important. And then on the other side, I'm gonna take my white, and our paint's still wet, so it's gonna blend and make it. And then just kind of do the same thing where we're pulling it into the middle. on that. Then I'm going to take my brown again and just kind of out take it on the uh, right side and kind of outline a little bit. We don't want to use black because it'll be like super dark and heavy and we don't want that because it'll make more look more cartoony with those black lines so. Okay so here we are and I'm going to take my brush I'm going to you don't have to add detail but corks have little like ticks in it, like little marks in it. So if you're going to do straight up and down marks, I kind of see it as like little circles. So we need like little half semi-circles, little dots, just to give it some corky detail. So, okay. I'm going to pause on the bottle and we're going to work on our sky. So I'm going to take a brush. You can use one from earlier, you can get a different one. Right now I'm just going to take my brush and use some white. I'll get you white and then we're just going to literally just tap this paper or the canvas, whatever you have. Just tapping it on nice and easy. And then if you want to take some of that blue you use for your sky and tap it in there with it. But again, if you just want white clouds, feel free to do that. Um, you don't even need clouds. 
You can have a clear sky because we have clear skies. We do not have a clear sky full of clouds. You can have whatever clouds you want. Be creative. And so I'm going to, since I'm getting into that darker blue area, I'm going to use my white and that same dark blue I just had or I used earlier and pull it together and dap it in. Dap it in. And it kind of blends together. All right, so now we got two clouds. I think I'm gonna add some more down here into my orange area. So now I'm going down to my orange area. I'm gonna pull in some of that orange too. Maybe not make this cloud so big. Okay, make it smaller fish cloud. Maybe I'm gonna pull it so it kind of comes over here too. You know, scatters out. Um, maybe I want one here. My darker blue again. A little bit of my orange. I'm just gonna pull both of those together. And just tap it out. Tap it. Maybe I just went a little bit through here, you know, just fill my sky with yeah. There we go. Just some clouds. Alright, I think that's good for now. Like I said, it's up to you how many clouds you want, whatever you want it to look like. Alright, next I'm going to add a little, I'm going to add my note in the bottle. So I'm going to get out my skinny brush again. Like I said, you can use a pencil. Um, I did not draw my note, I should have, but I didn't. I'm just going to have it leaning against my bottle, so I'm going to move it down just for a second and I'll show you. And I'm going to have it going so it's going to be like in the sand. So it's going to go to the bottom of the bottle and then leaning against the bottom. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. And again, you can have yours standing straight up and down. So right now it's like leaning. You can have yours straight up and down. Um, you don't need a bottle or a message in the bottle. I just thought it was kind of cool. But I just said it's totally up to you. Whatever you want it. Whatever color you want it. I know I have just white, but I'll probably add some of my sand color in there to give it more of a tannish color. I think I'll do that. But I don't want it to be like the exact same color as my sand. I don't want it to be like confusing, conflicting. Like I want you to be able to tell there's a difference that it's a bottle. Even if you want to do like white with brown, pull in some brown. Make it a little darker. And that way you can do darker on the underside underside of it. For more detail, because we like detail. So there's my note. Looks pretty good. I feel like the brown gives it more of like a weathered look too. Like it's like old. Add a little bit more brown up here, but whatever. Alright. So we're gonna let that dry for a second. And then we can add our little red bow on it. So while we're waiting for that we can add our sun. So in the original, you can see the little sun, well, you can kind of see it in the background because it's like a sunset. We're doing a sunset. So I'm just gonna go in the middle of my bottle and do a semicircle. And then we're gonna fill it in with white. Feel free to do yellow, to do whatever color. You can make it a semicircle. you can make it a full circle, you can, you don't even need a sun. Um, I'm going to do a little like sun lines coming though, because I think that looks cool, you know, when you look into the sun, like little lines. I don't actually, I don't want them so dark though, so I'm going to try to, there we go. Make it like my original note. So there's my sun, and I'm going to 
and oh, let's do our bow real fast. So get some red. Get your red. I should have listed the colors we needed first. I'm sorry. We have a lot of colors because it's a pretty sunset. So I'm going to take my red, take my skinny paintbrush, and just do a little, and start with a little dot. Little red dot. You make a line, kind of going around it. You see a dot and a line. And then do a little bow, a little loop here. A one loop. And then a loop there. And then two little lines. Simple, easy. Bow. Perfect. Alright, now wait for that to dry because we're going to add kind of paint over it. I'll explain in a second. I think I'm going to add some more sand, so I'm going to take up my sand color again. Put a little bit of brown on it. I'm going to make it so it looks like my bottle's like in the sand, not just on the sand. Because it looks like it's buried. I got some brown. That looks pretty good. Alright. Yep, so it looks like it's buried. Maybe a little bit of white just to give us more detail. Like I said, feel free to go back and add any detail you want. Okay, so I'm going to take my brush and get it a little bit of wet, not a whole lot. Actually, a little wet and then a little bit of white. Not a lot of white, just a little bit. Because I'm going to give this bottle kind of like that glazy look. So I'm just taking my white and nice and gently. Oh, see this is why we wait for our, our red to dry first. I smeared my red. Maybe you don't listen to me. The good thing about paint, we can just fix it nice and easy. So, Note to self, make sure your painting is dry first before you paint over it. One second. No, you can't even tell. It looks fine. Okay, so never mind. We'll wait a second. But I think I'm gonna add some more detail to my sands. You know how they have little sand grain, grains of sand, and they come in different colors. I'm gonna just put little dots of sand. I'm gonna use my brown. And my sand color, even some white. So right now I'm just doing brown. I'm just kind of scattering it around the picture. You can see no dots. I'm going to take my white and just kind of dot it around. Just nice and easy. Little dots. And I'll take my sand color. Maybe put it on where this one's not show up as much, but put it where my wet sand is, maybe. Just kind of give it more detail, more sandy look. And also, if you wanted to, and in my original, I have some birds. You can get out your black, just a little bit of black. And take your brush, nice, just get your black. Nice and easy, you know how when you're a kid, you draw a little M for a bird? That's exactly what we're doing, we're just doing little M's. So, little M's. You don't even need birds, or you can. I usually like to do two together. Nice little birds. And if you want more, maybe I'll add another one over here. By himself, up in the sky. They're just flying away into the sunset. So do have as many, as many birds as you want. Or, and if you wanted to add more detail to your land in the back, you can do just a little bit of white just to make it look a little bit cooler. Like I said, you don't need to. That just gives us some more detail. Actually, we blend it. We just don't want chunks of white, but we can just you know, blend it. All right. I want to make sure my bow is dry so give me one second don't want to smear it again okay i think it's dry should be dry 
Okay, so again, give your brush a little bit of wet, a little bit of white, and we're just going to lightly go over our bottle to give it that shine. So it doesn't look like we're just staring straight into it, but it looks like there's actually glass in front of the scroll. If that makes sense. And then also, what I like to do sometimes, it's hard to see, but you can see the kind of like the streaks. Um, is highlights so take my I take my skinny brush like I said pencil and I just kind of do highlights on the corners where I think it would be like this shine I just do lines so again gives it more of that glassy look where it's like oh it's just it's glass um, it's not just you know the bottle it gives more of a 3d feel um I think that's almost all of it like I said feel free wherever you think it Things need to go, or you want them to go, you add it, you do it yourself, make it your own. And then don't forget to sign your name because it's your masterpiece and you worked hard for it. I usually sign my name on the bottom. I just do my initials. And done. Easy peasy. Just like that. And a lot of people are like, oh, I could never do that. But when you break it down, it's really easy and it looks great and you're all talented so you can do it so thank you for following along and watching my video if you did try it I would love to see what you how it turned out and if you have any questions shoot me a message I'd be happy to help thank you